Yeah, welcome to Wild Watch. I'm the Big Fish. We're at Alexandra Park on a Thursday. I'm going to have a look at the early quaddy races, two, three, four, and five for you tonight and have a little bit of a suggested one at the end of that. Small spend. We'll spend around about $16. The first leg's a really strong maiden race. Race number two now. We've got a horse that ran third in a group two at its last start and always be a leader. I'll take you to the monitor and have a look at Barry Purden's train run outside the leader here in a very good field. He's actually taken out by its stable mates, Escape Artist and also Cold Chisel. So Todd Mitchell's parked out. Drew Barry 8 had a horrible run early. Had he got round sit parked out and hits the front at the top of the lane only to be beaten by the trailer and the horse in the Dennis Thompson colours out wide an escape artist. Now put aside hasn't raced since March but has had two trials. Crystal drove in both of them really trialled up nicely the other day. I thought 220 was okay uh, for a two year old that was very competitive against our best two year olds uh, last time in. The main danger is a horse that's actually on debut has changed stable, was with the uh, Alan and Wayne Fawcett team. Purchased now with Zach Butcher. The horse I'm highlighting is here in the uh, mauve colours. Runner number five, about to get to the centre of the track. Now, the horse that's last in this trial is Jethro Bodine, who's won his last three starts. Now, this is Mantra Blue hitting the line really nicely out wide. They're on a quick last quarter here. Uh, as I said, this was six weeks ago. Put aside now with Zach Butcher. Gets a nice barrier draw. Open up $4. I do think she's quite smart. She may need the run six weeks between trials, but I do think you might need her as a little bit of cover in the first leg of the quaddy. Now, the second leg of the quaddy is for uh, the rating 50 and faster here, or rating 45 and faster, and Wicked Wanda, really nice filly who was good, good fresh up last start. Let's go to the monitor. Pick up the horse in the wooden stud colours here, back third to last. Also notice race rival here, 2IC, who's immediately in front of it. Now, what's happened at the start of this race, Wicked Wanda had a gallop. After about 400 metres, end up last at the 800 metre mark. Down the back, cut the corner, and you can see Dylan Ferguson just trying to weave his way through the gap. Ends up running third behind Jethro Bodine, Nelson's boy. Um, really nice field. You can see in fourth there, two I see out wide is my copy, who's also race day rival here. But I just thought she ticked the boxes, Wicked Wanda. It is, of course, the Sweet Lou at Woodland's mobile pace. This filly by Sweet Lou, and she's owned by Woodland Stud. So wouldn't they be apt if they could take out race number three? Main danger, two I see, Benson Dude. And I didn't mind uh, my copy, the way it hit the line in that video, at a bit of value. Now, race number four, the trot. Quite an even trot field here, but it's 2,200 metres. This is the key. Uh, strong lineup. I think the key video to show is the Gazman video from two starts ago. Have a look at the monitor here. Horse some highlightings in front in the Rogerson colours here. Uh, gets run down late by the horse in the yellow and blue, Springback Mason. But he goes back from 35 to 45 tonight, over 2,200 metres. Man, that's a long way back. No doubting the talent, but he's going to be a long way off them. Notice liaison in the middle of them there with the yellow cap of David Butcher and King's Landing right down the very outside. Now, all four of these go round in this 2,200 metre race tonight, all chances. If I had to narrow it up, I'd say Gazman and liaison. But if you want cover... The bottom two, even off the big handicap. Let's go to the two-year-old event. Strong field here. Key video to show is the last two-year-old Phillies race at the park where Arcatier won and Adore Dreamer went enormous. Let's pick them up at the top of the lane. So Arcatier in front, stablemate outside it with Morris McHenry aboard in Adore Dreamer. Now, gee, she was good here. She set parked out Adore Dreamer. She's the half to a cooter. Uh, at the top of the lane, I thought, well, she's going to stop. She'll end up running third or fourth. At the line, she's coming back at the leader. Uh, on the outside of them is the stable mate, Seaside Rose. I thought she was brave. Now, the bookmakers put up $9 last night. She's going to need luck, won the second row, but I do think she's the value in the race. Arcatier, the obvious danger, and also the horse we're about to highlight here in the form of Kiss. Now, she's coming out of a Group 2 race at her last start. Go to the monitor. The horse is... Parked out, about to take over at the top of the lane. That is Kiss. Uh, she gets beaten by the horse coming up the inside, who's also in tonight, in Treacherous Love. But she threw this race away. She was very green. She ducked and dived all over the place. Um, she's had a trial, uh, a quiet trial at Franklin the other day to fit in for tonight. Uh, I do think she may need the run, but I wouldn't leave her out of a quaddy tonight. Race five, number seven, Kiss. Let's have a look in summary. I suggested one for you. It's not an overly big spin with a couple of small fields here.
But I thought in leg number one, you could get away with three and four. And that's always be elite mantra blue, who I do think will certainly win a maiden race at short notice. Leg number two, Wicked Wand. You either have to anchor her at $3 or you have to take a light, uh, larger spre uh, spread. The trot, the bottom four, three, four, five, and six. And in the last leg, two, six, seven, and nine. That's $16, 50% of the early quad at the park tonight.